Today, we will show you how to set up and begin using your Phoenix 8 AMOLED Edition Multi-Sport Watch. Additional videos are also available that cover some of the features in depth. Garmin recommends charging your Phoenix 8 for two hours before heading out on your adventure. Pro tip, for longer adventures, you could always keep your charging cable handy to charge up on the go. You can even use a UL licensed power bank. If your compatible smartphone supports reverse charging, you can connect directly to the device to charge your smartwatch. First, press and hold the light button on the top left to power on your watch. Use the up and down buttons on the left side of the watch to scroll through the language options. Press the start stop button to select your language. Next, we'll pair your compatible smartphone with your watch. Select the check mark to begin. Using your smartphone's camera, scan the QR code. If you already have the Garmin Connect application on your smartphone, scanning this barcode will direct you to the device search screen. For new customers, scanning the code will direct you to install the Garmin Connect application. Once the download is complete, open the Garmin Connect app. Select Sign In if you already have a Garmin Connect account. In this video, we will be creating a new account. Select Create Account. Follow the on-screen instructions to enter your information. The app will now begin searching for your device. For new or existing customers, select Connect It when the app recognizes your watch. Your watch will now display a six-digit code that you will need to confirm in the Garmin Connect app. Select Pair. Next, follow the on-screen prompts to set up your user preferences. To complete the app setup, select Finish. Now that your watch and smartphone are paired, your watch will confirm a few on-watch setting preferences. First, you can set the text size. Press the up and down buttons to adjust the text size. Once set to your liking, press the start-stop button to confirm. Next, you will be able to select activity types that you would like to have included on the activities list. Select the check mark to continue. Here, you will see the activity types that are available. You will also see the most popular activities listed. These will automatically be added to your favorites list but you can deselect them. Simply select a type to view the activities. Press the Start Stop button to select an activity. Continue until you have included all the activities you want on your list. When finished, scroll to the bottom of the list and select Done. When selecting a dive activity, you will need to review a few safety screens before continuing. Now that your watch setup is complete, your watch will display the watch face with a date and time. Pro tip, your watch is highly customizable, allowing you to change data and organization to fit your needs. This includes the watch face, shortcut keys, activities list, glances and more. We will showcase each of these throughout the video. Now let's learn how to use the touchscreen to operate the watch. The touchscreen will be disabled by default during an activity. Your watch screen will go blank after 8 seconds. Tap the screen to enable the backlight. You can swipe down from the top of the screen to open notifications. Swipe up or down to scroll through pages. Touch an option to select it. Covering the screen with your palm will return to the watch face and disable the backlight. To learn more about using your touchscreen, see the owner's manual at support.garmin.com. Let's cover some basics to help you navigate your watch. While on the watch face, press the down button to open glances. Here you can quickly view important data such as heart rate, training information and more. Pressing the start stop button will open the apps and activities menu. Some of these items include run, kayak, clocks, map, and many more. We will show you how to pin activities to the top of this list later in the video.
pressing and holding the light button will open the controls menu where you can access features such as your Garmin wallet and Find My Phone. Pressing and holding the up menu button will open the menu. Here you can customize your watch face, edit clocks, and view your activity and record information. Selecting watch settings will let you change sound, display, and many more settings. Press and hold the back button to view your recently used apps, activities, and glances. Quickly press the light button twice to activate the flashlight. Your watch also lets you pin up to three of your favorite activities for quick access. To pin an activity, open the Activities and Apps menu by pressing the Start Stop button from the watch face. Select Activities and then locate the activity you want to pin. Once highlighted, press and hold the Up button to bring up the menu. Select Pin Activity. Now your activity will be on the top of the Activities and Apps menu for quick access. Your watch also includes a speaker and microphone. When paired to your compatible smartphone, your Phoenix 8 can make and receive calls. See our voice tutorial video for more help setting up this feature. They are also used when triggering your voice assistant while paired to your compatible smartphone. This is especially handy if your smartphone is in a gym bag or pack and you need to send a message or take a phone call. Additionally, your watch includes voice command that utilizes the microphone and speaker to complete various watch interactions. To activate voice command, press and hold the start-stop button. Some of these include starting a run, setting a timer, taking a note, or adjusting the watch volume. This is also available when not paired to your smartphone. And that's it. Your Garmin Phoenix 8 AMOLED Edition Multisport watch is now set up. To learn more about using your device, please see our other videos or visit support.garmin.com.